What's up everybody? It's your girl, Victoria Lynn Myers, back with another video just finished at the gym, and this is going to be a make breakfast with me. I've been seeing pumpkin cold brews all over the place. I've had a few over the last week or so, but they haven't really hit in terms of pumpkinness. So I'm hoping that me making this video A, inspires you, B, it rebrands the pumpkin spice cold brews because where's the pumpkin at? But before we get into this video, if you could hit that like button, please watch all the way to the end. It helps YouTube know that this video is worth watching. <laughs> Hopefully it is worth watching, but <laughs> It really helps me, is what I'm trying to say. So please, if you care to help a sister out, please watch to the end. It really, really helps because sharing is caring and we are in the season of giving. Just finished at the gym, had a nice juicy glute day. I think I need to hire a trainer, by the way. I am pretty good at hitting stuff, but I've got to say one of my gym friends helped me and I feel like I push myself so much more when I have another person and I, I think I like to be so independent that I didn't really realize that that might actually help me because I've been going to the gym for quite a minute. I mean, you don't get this, you don't get this juicy glutey, gluteus maximus for nothing. Okay, but anyway, with that being said, I don't know, we'll see what the future holds. I'm going to record this video making breakfast and then I'm gonna do an ASMR with this mic because hopefully the sound quality is a little bit better as well. I had to order an adapter because I know a lot of you all, rightfully so, we're talking about the quality of the audio. So hopefully this helps, but anyway, with that being said, let's get into this video. So items you're going to need. I have been getting the cold brew from Trader Joe's and it's really, really, really good. You're going to need a can of pumpkin because what is a pumpkin spice cold brew without it? Warming spices. Now I'm upset because a Trader Joe's that I go to was out of pumpkin spice seasoning, but I Googled it and apparently it's like cinnamon and like allspice. I wish I had nutmeg. I'll double check, but I would put nutmeg in this as well. And for milk, whatever milk that you normally use is fine, but I have been using this unsweetened vanilla almond milk for quite some time. Also be needing a blender, preferably some ice. And if you care about making your experience better, glass straws, crucial, actually. I used to think it was stupid till I had them. Don't knock it till you try it. Okay, let's get into it. One more thing we actually need. I swear by this maple syrup. So we're also gonna be using maple syrup to sweeten it. So starting out in a blender, like a blender cup, we're gonna be taking our pumpkin, a sweetener of choice. We're gonna be combining a little bit of pumpkin, a little bit of maple syrup, our spices and our milk, and then we're gonna blend it. Okay, cracking this can open. Do you remember as a kid? Oh my goodness, the cuts I used to get with cans. It's crazy. We're gonna do like two tablespoons of pumpkin, okay? One, two, ooh, two, three, one more, four. Okay, we're doing four, okay? That should hopefully make it a little bit pumpkin-y. Now I'm going to add in my seasonings. We have cinnamon, so I'm gonna do a bunch of that. A little bit of allspice. Allspice is kind of a heavy seasoning. A little dash of this maple syrup. Okay, maybe a little bit more. It's probably like two teaspoons of the maple syrup. And then a dash of this almond milk. I'm just eyeballing it. Cause what I'm gonna do is mix the cold brew into this after and shake it. Okay, and then also going to add in a little bit of vanilla extract. Oh, it smells good. I feel like it might need a little bit more cinnamon, so we'll see. Okay. Now we're gonna pop the lid on this baby and get to blending. Okay, this is looking super pumpkin-y, but it looks like it might need a little bit more milk. Because oddly, whoa, why is it so thick? Why is pumpkin so thick? Okay, we're gonna add in a little more milk. This might make, mm, well it's, oh my goodness, it smells, oh my goodness, so good. Okay, I'm gonna add in a little more milk. 
This is gonna make multiple cold brews, I think. Okay. Cause I don't want it to just be like all pumpkin, you know? Oh, it's not as flavorful as I would like. That's weird. What? What is up with that? What is going on with the pumpkin? Okay. I feel like it needs more sweetener if I'm being honest. Look at how thick this is. Can you guys see that? Look at, look at how thick that is. Add a little bit more sweetener, blend it up, and then I'm gonna take like half of this, put it in this cup with the cold brew and then give it a good shake and see if I can make it into something, something beautiful. Okay, that has to be. We're going to combine our Trader Joe's coffee with the pumpkin mixture, ice, ice first, then cold brew mixture next. You know what, let me record this. This is what we have so far. I added in my cold brew and like half of this pumpkin mixture, added in some more sweetener and I'm about to add in more milk. Ooh, well that's looking nice. It's kind of plain. So I'm gonna add in some more allspice. Okay. And then also add in cinnamon. Wow, this is gonna look so good though. Like look at already. Look at how good that looks so far. Once I shake it, it's gonna be stunning. This is way thicker than my cold normally is. Well, it, smell, it smells good. It doesn't look as pretty. Truth for the pumpkin cold brew going in. Why is it? It's good, it tastes festive. I feel like this is as good, if not better, than the cold brews that I've had out and about that are pumpkin, so that's, that's a win. It's the taste of the coffee like outshines anything else though. I'm gonna put a little bit more pumpkin in it and see if that helps. Putting two more scoops of pumpkin. Let me shake it. Let's try it one more time. That's better. This is nice, it's like creamy. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's make breakfast. Round two, I'm going to be making not my normal protein pancake recipe. I get in habits of making the same breakfast over and over again, and this one was one that I would continuously come back to. And recently I've been really craving like feeling, I don't know if it's the fall or what, but feeling a sense of home and a sense of peace. And this has been something that's been like a comfort meal for me. Still good stats, don't get me wrong. We are not having our gains go to waste, but it's not quite as high in protein as my pumpkin protein pancakes or my other protein pancake recipes that I have. I'll link them here. Um, but what you'll need is some eggs, egg whites. You could add in protein powder, but I'm kind of like limiting my protein powder intake. Half a banana, some nut butter of choice, and then I use vanilla extract and cinnamon, and then you'll still need a blender. So starting out in the blender cup, we're going to crack open one egg, bunch of cinnamon, I don't have much of these egg whites, so I'm gonna pour all of it in there, but it's probably like one or two teaspoons. Then I'm going to add in nut butter. 
I did a tablespoon, tablespoon of nut butter, then half a banana. Little bit of vanilla extract. Now we're going to blend it. bad boy on there too. Put some frozen fruit in a bowl. Ended up <laughs> kind of throwing some stuff together because I don't know what the heck happened to my pancake batter, but it, there's not much pancakes on this and I just, I'm ready to eat. I'll probably have like a second serving of something, but I have some frozen fruit in a bowl half a chicken sausage link with like apples and stuff in it and then not much pancakes but I'm going to go over to my couch and record a little I don't even know if you'd quantify it as a mukbang but an ASMR eat breakfast with me and I'm gonna talk a bit so if you want to see that stay tuned but otherwise thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you so so soon bye testing one two three testing one two three What's up everybody? Hopefully the audio is a little bit better. I had to buy an adapter. Tech is not my thing at all. Manifesting a techie boy, techie boyfriend, techie hubby. Put your applications in below, but anyway.